welcome to this video. In this very short video, I'm going to give you a full tutorial walkthrough of how to use Descript Storyboard to produce YouTube short style videos that you can put on any platform. I'll talk you through the dashboard, I'll talk you through the editing process, so that by the end of the video you will know exactly what you need to use in order to use this fantastic program. Maybe you're new to Descript, maybe you're not new to Descript. So let's just, I'm on the website now, Descript.com. As of recording, it has three pricing levels. I do recommend if you can, you at least get to Creator because you, you've, got, you've got only 720p resolution export on the base layer, which doesn't look great on a lot of screens these days. So let's go into the app, the app without any further ado. We use this a lot. We have six users on at present. We had eight at one point last year. We do a lot of videos. And um, we've got this process down for doing the shorts in, in Storyboard, and it's fantastic. So let's have a look. You've got your private workspace where you can keep your private videos, and then you've got a team drive where the videos will be shared with your team. You Also at the top here, you've got your recent projects. You've also got all the administration and account settings there which you can see, which you would have in any sort of software application. I'm going to go into B2B Growth Team Drive and I'm going to go to 2023 Mark Videos. And as of recording, it's the second week of January. And I'm gonna open that and I'm gonna go up here to the top right. I'm gonna click New Project. When you're watching this, you might not see this one here, New Classic Project, because what's happened is Descript have updated, upgraded the whole platform and they're gradually moving people across to new project, which is better anyway. So there we are, I'm gonna open new project. And all I'm gonna simply do is I'm going to go to wherever on the desk, my computer, the video is stored. And I'm just going to grab a video in here. And what will happen is Descript will then give you the option, English or whatever language you're using. If you want it to identify the speaker name, you can ask it to do that there. For this, it's just me, so we don't need to. Done. So what's going to happen now is Descript is going to transcribe the video. And in Descript, we can very quickly edit the video edit the video by editing the transcription. Let me explain. Down here, we have the timeline. And if you just want to expand it, you can click there. There's two buttons down here. I like to use selected layer. That will make more sense as we progress through the video. I've recorded this on a full size camera and I rotated the camera to be in portrait format. If you bought in a clip from a mobile, it will already be good to go. But I did this because I just wanted to show you the basics that we, we can do. So, right, we have the recording in there, in. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the corner. If you see, you put it there, you can drag it in or you can put it here you can drag the frame in. But what I'm gonna do is go just outside the corner and I'm going to rotate the video around because it's a portrait formatted video. Then I'm going to go up to video settings and I'm gonna change it to portrait because that's how the short will work. Then I'm going to just simply do this. It's not a great expression of me, is it? But there we go. So it's really, really important. You wanna do this before you do any of the editing. Really, really, really important. And I'm gonna show you a whole range of features you can do on Descript. Now, I personally don't use, although I know how to use some of the more complicated video editing like Premiere Pro by Adobe and Final Cut Pro by Apple, which I have on my computer. Honestly, for, for the majority of you out there, using those types of softwares would be like flying a F-15 fighter jet to the corner shop. It's just overkill on features and, and the majority of you won't need it. And you'll see what I mean when I go through this. So, I'm just for best practice, I'm going to change the title. So, I'm going to click here, and then what this will do, if I click here, it opens up all of the, the, all of the recordings in it. I'm going to rename it, Example. It's best practice when you pull one in to, to keep a base version. So, I'm actually gonna use the best practice we use when we do video editing for clients and I'm gonna call it base. You can call whatever you want. That's the untouched raw version, enter. And I'm going to go to duplicate. And then I have, if I go up here again, you can see I have a copy of it. 
So I'm going to say version 1.0 for the working. There we go. So now we can start the editing process. And by the way, I just want to draw your attention to the best way that I found to record short videos using this software. If you see here, we've got three ways, three ways, three ways. So what that means is that I say each line three or four times. And if you want to outsource it, you just give it to a, a virtual assistant and say use the last version because the last version is the best. That's how you get really short, snappy, really, really good video short content because you'll say three ways to generate LinkedIn and you stutter. Three ways to generate LinkedIn videos using Loom. You stutter again. So I go three ways to use Loom to generate LinkedIn short videos, whatever. So then I'm going to start editing it. So you can see there, that's the last one of it. So this is the great thing about Descript. I'm just going to copy that there. And then you can see I've got number one, number one, number one. So that's the last number one. So I'm going to delete that, delete it from the video. Number two, number two, number two. So there we go, up to there. Just pull it up to keep it tidy. Oh, so we've got a number two. <laughs> There's another one down there. I didn't, it took me a while to get this right. Um, there we go, there's the last two, the number two. So we've deleted it up. Number three, you could, it's starting to pitch them. All right, so the number three I got right the first time. So if you're doing a YouTube short, you want it under one minute. So we can see we're still over, we're at one minute 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here. I'm gonna go split clip and then I'm going to delete the end part. So what you can see, I've got it 105, so really obvious gaps. I'm then just going to left click and pull that in really quick and pull that in. Are we on one minute? No, we're not. So when I'm not there, I take off the summary. They don't need the summary. If they get to the end of the video, fantastic. We've done our job, but it's a bonus, right? So that can be removed and then I can right click again there and I can split the clip and move it out there. Fantastic, so 59 seconds, it's now good enough. Now I'm going to add the captions and I'm gonna show you exactly where to place them so you can use on multiple platforms. So I'm gonna highlight the script and I'm going to go to the T, oh, captions, the T at the top here and I'm gonna click captions. I'm gonna move it up to here because on YouTube in this zone they've got writing over it and it doesn't look good. I'm going to use my, um, my font for my brand and then I'm going to actually I like to use it size 120 and then I like to move it in so there's only one or two words visible then I like to go here so you can see we're not going to go through all of the the functions here today you don't need all of them to do this we're just going to give you what you need so you can quickly do this and then you're going to go to the active word I like to use an active word so I use that color there and then the background I use as white. So let me just pl play that through and, and you see how it will go. Double click, press play. So there we go. If you had ums and ahs, you would be able to eliminate the ums and ahs. That's done there. I don't have any ums and ahs in that because I use the technique that I used before. But if you did, you could simply go to here, this star, and you could say remove filler words, and it will remove the ums and ahs. So I'm just going to say, you see it's picked up a repeat. You can select what you select all. So these are the ones it will do, be careful of. It's picked up a really, so I'm just going to do apply to all. Now I don't like using this of shortening the word gaps by descript. I've not seen good results with that. I just like to quickly do it down low and, and, and like I've just showed you, but you could do it. Now at this point, we're progressing with the edit. I like to then go here to see all of them again. I like to duplicate because I like to have an audit trail. And then I'm gonna go up here again and you can see there's a copy. So this is now gonna be version 2.0 and when I got 2.0 I'm going to just correct the ta transcript so I'm going to go to boom, boom, boom. 
correct and put the capital there and I'm going to go through the whole video I can't see any of the mistake mistakes it's really really picked up my my um, language fine so yeah we're good so what I can do and if by the way if it's a good example they do do a lot of updating if you're in the middle of an edit don't do that just ignore that right that's good enough to export so what are we we're, we're just at 11 minutes and by the way you could give this to your virtual assistant and just give them this video or get them to watch this video do the shorts and, and they'll be able to do it you're now going to go to file composition export and you just want to check down here 1080 I use 1080 because that's what I've seen the best results with and and there's a big step up of an export time when you go to 4k but you could do 4k current composition so you want to make sure up here you're in version 2 so I'm actually going to just rename the the overall project file that contains all the different ones in there and then I'm going to click high and I'm going to go to export there we go so you can see down here the video export is exported on my desktop version 2.0 if I open this there we go we have got a short of 59 seconds ready to add to the to the platform and by the way I'm just going to show you a quick example of me doing this this was yesterday if I go to I put these on LinkedIn I put them on everywhere if I just go to view profile and I skip down you can see I did this yesterday. There we go. There's a video I did yesterday. I put them up on LinkedIn. I put them on YouTube. I put them absolutely everywhere. Thank you for listening. I really hope that's been helpful. Check out my other videos on Descript and video editing and building your business and, and doing excellent content. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.